Hello and welcome back to our intuitive eating series where we are breaking down all 10 principles of intuitive eating. In this video here, we are covering principle four, which is to challenge the food police. And if you wanna watch principles one, two, and three, I will leave links in the description below. Principle four, challenging the food police, ties really well into principle three, which is to make peace with food. And principle four is really all about unpacking and reprogramming how we think about food. Because the way we think about food, of course, impacts the food decisions that we make. The food police can be either our own thoughts about food or it can be comments that we receive from others. While we can't necessarily control what others say to us, we can be in tune with how we respond. I actually just recently shared a post about receiving harmful comments from friends and family, loved ones, those around us, and it really seemed to resonate with a lot of you. So I'm sure a lot of you can relate when I say that the food police can be those around you. Regardless of if the food police is your own voices in your head or the voices of others, let's go over a few examples of food talk and how we can start to respond and reprogram our ways of thinking about food and our bodies. So food talk frequently tends to present itself as food rules, right? Don't eat past 6 p.m. It's not time for lunch yet, so you're not allowed to eat even though you're hungry. You ate too much yesterday, so you need to skip breakfast today. Better not eat that sandwich, it has way too many carbs. We've all heard rules like this, whether it is from social media, friends and family, or our own voices in our head. And sometimes these food rules can be very tricky to spot because they may be presenting themselves under the guise of health. Examples of these these food rules might be, oh, don't eat canola oil, it's inflammatory. Be sure to check those macros before you eat that. Only choose organic produce, not conventional. When it comes to these food rules, these were all things that you were taught at some point or another. Maybe from a family member saying those things to you or you overhearing them say them to themselves. Maybe you saw a viral social media post talking about a certain food rule you should be following. But just because you were taught this particular thing about food does not mean it's necessarily true. And the good news is that you can learn new things, which is exactly what you are doing by watching this series with me. So the first step to breaking these food rules is to identify that they're there. I know it might sound kind of silly, but in order to get rid of those diet thoughts, you need to first identify them. And many of these thoughts might be happening subconsciously, so our goal here is just to bring awareness to them. You might start by asking yourself, am I having repetitive and intense feelings? What am I thinking that is leading me to feel this way? And what is correct about this belief? What is false? And then once you identify the food police thought, you can then start to reframe those thoughts. For example, if you are following the food rule of, oh, I cannot eat this sandwich for lunch because I already had toast at breakfast and I can't eat bread twice in one day. First of all, acknowledge that this is a food rule that you learned from somewhere. Then try to think about where that rule came from and ask yourself if it's really true. Chances are most of what the food police tells you is going to be incorrect. Try to reframe this thought into something more like, oh wow, yeah, a sandwich sounds really good right now. And I know I will also be very satisfied eating a sandwich, especially if I pair it with some tuna salad that will have some protein and some fat in there to go with my carbs. Do you see the difference here? Instead of just following an arbitrary food rule, we are thinking about how this choice is actually going to impact us personally. Along with food rules, another example of the food police voice is something known as the diet rebel. The diet rebel might say things like, now that mom and dad are sleep, I can go downstairs and eat those chips that are in the pantry. Or maybe something like, I wonder how many of these brownies I can eat before my partner gets home. You might experience this type of food police talk if you have been dieting and restricting for a long time and you are just fed up. This is not quite intuitive eating, but it can definitely pave the way as you're getting angry at diet culture and the food police. You can use this frustrated energy to set and protect your boundaries. This one tends to be especially helpful if the food police are mostly people around you, people in your life. All in all, challenging the food police is largely about shifting that negative self-talk into more positive self-talk. And this positive self-talk will ultimately lead to changes in our beliefs about food, which will subsequently lead to changes in our behaviors. By understanding and challenging the food voices both in our mind as well as from external 
external sources, we can start to build that more positive relationship with food. That, my friends, is principle four, challenge the food police. And if you wanna learn more about ditching the diets and finding food freedom, be sure to check out the Nutrition Reboot membership, which is my exclusive diet ditching club for those who are fed up with diet culture. Coming up in the next few weeks in the membership, I'm going to be hosting a three-part workshop called the Macro Masterclass. And in this workshop, I'm gonna be breaking down all the different macronutrients, our proteins, our carbs, and our fats. We're gonna go over and debunk some common diet culture myths about these nutrients. And I will also be teaching members how to build balanced plates without a side of food rules and food guilt. I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna learn more about becoming a member. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Make sure you like it if you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you know when I post part five of this series. Go break some food rules today. Thank you.